up-and-coming Philadelphia rock star, next on the 10 o'clock news. And as Dan Meacham reports, the budding star has high hopes for himself and Philadelphia's music scene. I got my very own sound. Dig it. Tommy Conwell is carving out his very own sound on the gritty floors of the cabaret scene, working, sweating it out, to slay what he calls the dragon of contemporary music mediocrity. This night and this time of his life is like no other. Witness the unveiling of a potential superstar. In the audience, top nationwide radio executives, flashy promoters, and big brass from Columbia Records, Conwell's label. Conwell is out to prove that his live licks can match his recorded persona. He wants to pump up Columbia's troops, the company that is already calling him their biggest star since Barbara Streisand. Well, I'll tell you. I wish they wouldn't say that. <laughs> I uh, I don't like that one bit, you know. There's so little validity to that. How can you tell, you know? How can you tell? You can't tell. The packaging of Conwell is carefully orchestrated by manager Steve Mountain, who plans a major city tour for Conwell this fall. I don't think we have to hit 500 home runs in, in the first three at-bats, you know, and really as a career artist, you want to get your 10 good, 10, 15 good seasons in a row and hopefully in that 10 or 15 good seasons, have a couple of outstanding seasons. Tommy Conwell, yeah. The hype and promotion is mountainous. People are being told he's the, you know, the greatest thing since sliced bread, but the fact of the matter is, when you come out to a place like this and you see him, you really discover that he is incredibly talented. If he can do live what he does on the record, uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia will have another uh, rock and roll star. Conwell's success would also send shockwaves through the local music scene. If it can happen with the Hooters and with the Young Rumblers and, and with, um, you know, John Eddy and Smash Palace and Brooklyn and all the other bands that got signed and made albums, um, it can happen with these other bands, too. It can happen with Nick Everett. He used to be a skinny little runt playing his guitar. Now he's a muscle man. Nick Everett has known Conwell for years. He is recording an album to be released this fall, hoping to ride the wave that is Tommy Conwell. I like to think it's like a... Um, you know, sort of like a domino theory, because I know just based on, we've opened for Tommy more than any other act around here. And every time we've opened for Tommy, we've probably added another 20 or 25 people to our next show. Do you feel personally ready for the challenge? I feel happy and healthy. I have faith. I have what a person needs to live a healthy and happy life. Dan Meacham, the 10 o'clock.